Hi everyone, Tim Brown. Welcome back to my Apple Podcast, the podcast that makes a personal connection to everything Apple. Today, I want to feature Shred. Shred is a video editing application designed for the Mac and for the iPhone that enables you to create very quick video slideshows in an instant, but with a very professional quality. Shred has this built-in technology that basically takes your content and mixes it up for you and creates a video without any video editing on your part, with just some minor options for customization. So let's take a look at Shred. So here you're seeing a very beautiful, simplistic graphic interface here with just a few options. On the left, at the very top, is a circle for dropping in your content, photos and videos. And at the bottom is another place old holder for adding music. So let's go ahead and start a project here. So I have a finder window set up here of a jazz concert that I recorded and I wanna combine my videos and photo clips into one project. So I'm gonna choose a few photos here that I'm gonna add very quickly to my project. And I'm gonna drag them to the placeholder here on the left. Then I'm gonna click those double arrows and you can see another menu appear. When you select a photo, a menu sort of juts out from the right and gives you several different options here. So when you scroll over the first one, it says action. Flag this clip as action, this will give it special placement in your video. Scroll over again, you can favorite a clip, to make sure it appears in your final project. If it's video, you can select slow-mo. You can recommend that you start off with this clip or finish with this clip. And each photo gives you the same options. So in addition to my photos, I wanna go ahead and add a video. So I'm gonna go back to my finder window here and find a video that I like, and I'm gonna drag that to the placeholder as well. And now you can see along the bottom here is an option for the video. But what's different is that with the video, I can select what section I would like to appear in my slideshow. So I can customize this just a little bit. Okay, I have my media, photos and videos, but I'm not done yet because you cannot create a shred video until you have some music. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring up my finder window once again. And since this was a jazz concert that I recorded and I would like to hear the sound from this concert, I'm just, just gonna take this video file here and drag it to QuickTime. And I'm gonna go to File and then Export and then select audio only. This will give me an audio file from this video. So I can still hear the sound even though the video will actually be silent. The music will be playing in the background. So I'm gonna scroll over and grab this audio file that I created and I'm gonna drag that to the audio placeholder. Now you see double arrows alongside that one as well. And you have a slightly different option here with the audio. Here you have different lengths of time, which will determine how long your video is actually going to be. So if you want to make it shorter, you can make it 8 seconds, 17 seconds, 9 seconds, and so forth. So if I choose a non-second option, it'll create a slightly shorter video. Okay, let's check this out. So we have all of our media in, and now you see I have the option to shred it, which is exactly what I'm going to do. So it's shredding my content and bringing it all together and previewing it right before me. Pretty awesome. And then when you get to this point, you have the option to save it. And then you'll see a blue icon appear on the bottom right. This will enable you to access your project at any time. So I'm gonna go ahead and select that icon. And now I'm gonna just update this by adding the title Dan Erblan Quartet. And now when I select it, you see I have the option to download that file. And give me a second, I'm gonna go ahead and just play this back for you. So check it out. So this is now my video project playing full screen on my Mac. Now what's also nice about Shred is that you can use the same app on your iPhone. So let's take a look at Shred on the iPhone. Okay, so now we're looking at Shred on the iPhone. I'm actually using the iPhone 6X Plus right now, but it'll work on any iPhone. And as you can see, it has the same simplistic, minimalist design. It doesn't have the customizable features that came with the desktop version, but produces the same professional results. So let's check out how Shred works on the iPhone. So I'm going to go ahead and where it says add videos, I'm going to go ahead and add my content. And I set up a little album here on my phone, the same content. So I'm going to go ahead and likewise choose three photos. And I'm also going to add one of those video clips, and I'm gonna add that to the placeholder at the top. 
and you can see that another placeholder appears along the bottom right after you add that content. So I'm going to go ahead now and select music. And when you select music, of course, you're going to have a different option or interface because you cannot access music as easily on the iPhone that you can on your Mac. So it's a little different. You have two options. You can access music using the My Music option. This will take you to iTunes. So I'm going to go ahead and select iTunes and you'll see that you're given the option to add access the menu that you typically would access on your when you're using Apple Music basically. The only thing you really need to keep in mind when you're using any app that involves music from Apple Music is that you need to make sure that one there is not copyrighted and two you need to make sure that it is downloaded locally on your device. So I've already taken those precautions so for me if I go to playlists I will search for Dan Erblan which I also set up using Apple Music on my device. So I can find Dan Erblan and then just import a soundtrack that way. Which I'm going to do. And automatically it shreds the content. So it actually happens a lot quicker and easier. And voila, you have a nice video. Now what's great is Shred is specifically designed to show up on social media sites like Instagram. So you're you're being provided here a video that is square. So it's ideal for online and it's ideal for mobile devices. It does the same thing, just makes it easier to do when using your mobile device. It's perfect. Now, for example, I'm going to change media real quick and go back to music again because I want to show you the other option of using SoundCloud. So I have a SoundCloud account and I'm going to search, but I'm just going to search just for Dan Erblan because Dan has music on SoundCloud as well. May not be the same sound soundtrack that I used before, but as you can see here, I have four tunes that showed up. And I'm going to choose actually Aerospace as another option. I'm going to go ahead and click done. And now I'm going to see the new shredded version with the new soundtrack. Great, it's really that simple. So that shred for the iPhone combined with the Mac. This is an incredible application, easy to use. You're really going to love it. It's fantastic. So check out Shred on the Mac and on iOS. My name is Tim Brown. Thanks for tuning in for another episode of My Apple Podcast. You can check me out at myapplepodcast.com, but you can also find me on Twitter and YouTube. Until next time, see you later.